Are you all right, my dear? <laughs> An angel? <laughs> no, my dear. I am but a humble knight on her mission to protect the country against monsters and villains. <laughs> but thank you for the compliment. I can understand how the bright sunlight and my armour might have made it hard to see me properly. Whew. Those monsters really did a number on you, didn't they? Here, take this cloth and wipe the mud from your face. While I take a look at that knee, it seems you hurt yourself pretty badly when you fell. Hmm. It's not as bad as it could be, but I'll have to clean this scrape. The last thing you want is for the wound to become infected. Trust me, I've seen that happen often enough in practice when some of my more hard-headed companions refused to acknowledge their wounds and missed out on weeks of training because of it. Hmm? Oh no. It's no bother at all. For me, at least. You might want to grit your teeth, though. Mm, yeah, yeah, I know. Disinfecting a wound hurts. But you're all right now, my dear. Let me just get some bandages to wrap it up. What? Of course I wouldn't use the same cloth. That'd just get dirt into the wound again. I have enough bandages, so don't worry about it. And there, all done. Did you finish cleaning your face? Oh, <laughs> wow. You are eye candy, my dear. Truly a sight for sore eyes after weeks of only seeing the faces of monsters. <laughs> no, I'm not saying you are cute when compared to monsters. I'm saying you are cute, period. <laughs> anyway, do you think you can stand up? <laughs> Splendid. Let me help you up then. Are you? <laughs> Whoa, you are not that tall, now that I get a better look at you. I mean, you barely reach up to my chin. <laughs> mm -hmm. hey, well, I guess that is also true. I am fairly big for a woman. Usually, when someone makes fun of my height, they quickly find out that I am not only tall, but also quite strong. <laughs> but I forgive you this time, little one. You are lucky that you are cute. <laughs> oh, you meant it as a compliment, is that right? In my experience, there are only two possible reactions when I get all up and personal with someone smaller than me. Can you guess which ones? <laughs> That's right. People are usually either frightened or turned on. So, pray tell, little one. Which one are you? <laughs> oh, don't try and back away now. <laughs> We're having so much fun. And now, that's better, isn't it? I told you I was pretty strong. <laughs> oh no, it is absolutely necessary to pin you against a tree like this. Your knee is still hurt, remember? We wouldn't want you falling down because you put too much weight on it too suddenly. I'm just providing support. 
Or does it seem like something else to you? <laughs> well, obviously I need to restrain your hands and pin them over your head so you wouldn't try to run and hurt yourself. <laughs> See, there's a reasonable explanation for everything. Mm-hmm, yes. I anticipate that we will have to stay like this for at least a few minutes to make sure that you get used to properly standing up and walking. Hmm, but how should we pass the time? Do you have any ideas for some fun activities that we could do while we're all up in each other's space like this? <laughs> and what do you think you're looking at, little one? Oh, you're interested in my breastplate? I don't blame you. It is just in your line of sight, after all. I'm actually really proud of it. It was given to me by the king himself as a reward for fulfilling a certain mission. You won't find better steel anywhere north of the Lonely Mountain. It is truly a marvellous piece of craftsmanship. And I just realised that you got me monologuing to avoid answering my question, little one. Now, how should I punish you for that? Maybe I should just decide on a fun way to pass the time myself. Let's see. Oh, I have an idea. <laughs> well, of course the game was rigged from the start, little one. But I can see in your eyes that you are not entirely opposed to the direction this meeting has taken. In my line of work, you have to be able to see through deception and desire at a quick glance. Or you won't survive long. So, how about it? <laughs> oh, again with the excuses, little one. Please be honest. There is no judgment here. Life is just too short to deny yourself the pleasures you truly want. Especially when you could be killed by an attack or an accident at any time. <laughs> yes, that is another wisdom of knighthood. There are enough obstacles in your way, and people who won't hesitate to trample your dreams into the ground to advance their own. So please, don't add yourself to their ranks. If you are ashamed of your desires, how can you expect anyone else to respect them? If it makes it easier, do you want me to take the first step and tell you what I want, little one? Okay, I'll go ahead then. Right now, I want to keep you safe and compliment you and cuddle you and pick you up, and kiss you, and possibly even more. Does that sound like something you would want too? You can nod or you can use words, whatever you're more comfortable with. <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy. Do you have anything else to add to that? Of course. We can talk about that, little one. I would like that too. Hmm. So, I think this would be the perfect situation to start ticking off our little bucket list. I am a knight in shining armour. You are like a rescued damsel in distress. How about you reward me with... A kiss and a hug. <laughs> Perfect. 
Now, there's just one problem remaining. Our faces kind of need to be at the same height for us to kiss. So, do you want me to lean down to you? Or do you want me to pick you up? Or maybe you have a better idea. <laughs> Good choice. To be perfectly honest, I would also like that one the best. Let me just... <sighs> there. I think this is a good position. Don't you agree? <laughs> Splendid. I want you to be as comfortable as I am, if not more. <laughs> I can see that you are all out of patience, just like I am. You have the most adorable face right now. <laughs> oh, don't be embarrassed. You realize this won't work if you hide your face. That's it. Move your hands and... <laughs> wow, that was even better than I thought. <laughs> You're still making that face. I don't think I can stop myself as long as you keep doing it. <sighs> oh. I was hoping you would remain flustered a little while longer. Well, it's not like we won't have any more opportunities. Are you okay there, little one? You seem even more exhausted than me. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Anyway, we should probably go, in case more monsters show up. Do you think you can walk? <laughs> or maybe I should just princess carry you. <laughs>